This program is brought to you by the Hilton Irafushi Maldives. Hello, this is Talia Andrews, and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. Premier Inn's latest figures have shown a 13.5% increase in sales for the year to date across its 590 hotels. The budget hotel chain has also seen a 14.8% rise in total room nights sold, with nearly 9 million overnight stays sold. Occupancy for the year is also said to be up 6.8% to 77%. Future passengers travelling with British Airways will have to pay an extra £10 after the airline announced an increase in its fuel surcharge. Bookings for long-haul flights from this coming Thursday will be subject to the additional charge, which will double for a return booking. World traveller flights that are more than 9 hours will now pay £76 in fuel fees, while those less than 9 hours will pay £63 per leg. In other news, Trump Hotel Collection has signed an agreement with Preferred Hotel Group to provide sales, marketing and technology support to the brand's five current hotels. Preferred hotels and resorts will represent the Trump brand's flagship brands including the Trump International Hotel and Tower New York, Trump International Hotel and Tower Chicago and Trump International Hotel Las Vegas. The partnership will also see the brands collaborate on the future Trump International Hotel and Tower, Toronto and Trump Ocean Club International Hotel and Tower, Panama, opening early next year. Meanwhile, Swiss Air, German Wings and Austrian Airlines have been rated as the best choice airlines for ski holidays. According to CheapFlights.co.uk, three airlines come out top for flying ski equipment for free. In its latest tips on cost of carrying skis on the flights, cheapflights.co.uk reviewed 13 of the world's top airlines including both budget and flagship carriers, and Ryanair weighed in as the most expensive of the budget airlines. And finally today's news, a holiday abroad has been named one of the top five most wanted Christmas presents by British women, according to a new survey by eBay. Clothes, jewellery and books were also listed as popular items, although only a third of Brits are expected to be happy with their partner's present choice. Meanwhile, half of British men believe their partners give the best gifts. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow. This program is brought to you by the Hilton Irafushi Maldives.